I am Lamont at Large, and today I am at the Homewood Cemetery here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I don't know how this young lady died. It just says online through an obituary that she died suddenly. Lamar W. Smith, January 6, 1980 to January 8, 2009. Uh, Lamar had gotten into an argument with his girlfriend and basically uh, took her hostage. The police were called, and when they tried to apprehend him, he ran upstairs to the apartment and held her hostage. There was a nine-hour standoff between Lamar and the police, and uh, according to police testimony, as he was coming out of the apartment, he had pulled out a gun and was aiming it towards the head's of SWAT team when a sniper uh, fired uh, from his uh, rifle and shot him once, uh, killing him. This is Tyron Hill, November 20th, 1995 to August 28, 2007. Uh, he has a twin brother by the name of Tyrell, and on August 28, 2007, uh, both of them were stabbed brutally by their older brother. Uh, Tyron did not make it. Tyrell barely survived the attack. The previous day, the family had contacted a mental hospital here in the Pittsburgh area. They were concerned about their 18-year-old son who uh, was showing signs of paranoid schizophrenia. He was telling his parents that the dolls, uh, his, his sister's dolls, were talking to him that people in the television was talking to him they wanted to have him committed they came to the house to visit him and they just told the family just to monitor him uh, and to report if anything gets worse and the next day he kills his little brother uh, he was then uh, admitted into the mental hospital he was he was found uh, not fit to stand trial and uh, Eventually, 10 years later, the prosecutor, they dropped the murder charges against the uh, older brother, Troy. And uh, I believe he's out today, has his own apartment, and uh, takes psychiatric medication. This is Janae Harbor Morris, beloved daughter and sister, loving mother of Jameer and DeAndre. She had cancer and fought a, a long battle with it, but before, before she died, she had just two wishes. She wanted to be able to take her children to Disney World down in Florida, and she wanted to get married there as well. And uh, local news uh, outlets out here and people got together and they granted her final wish. So uh, before she died, she was able to live out her dreams. This here is Alina Shaikett. She was murdered here in Pittsburgh. This case was all over the local news at the time of her murder. She was murdered October the 8th of 2017 by her ex-boyfriend at the time. Her parents became very concerned that she had not met them for a breast cancer awareness walk. And they went into the house and her father broke into her bedroom and discovered her in a pool of her own blood uh, with multiple stab and chopping type wounds, uh, the murder weapon being a claw hammer and two knives. Her father said in an interview that he lost his princess. Uh, she was a student at Pitt and prior to her murder, uh, she had filed for a protection order against her then 
uh, ex-boyfriend and he broke into her house once before she filed that order he went to jail was arrested bonded out and came back and killed her uh, according to her friends and family he was very very controlling they had dated two years previous and uh, a lot of uh, emotional uh, manipulation abuse uh, would often make her give him her social media passwords would hack into her Facebook account and block her friends uh, a very uh, controlling psychopath and in his sick twisted demented mind he said if I can't have you nobody can and let this be a lesson to anybody out there who's in a, an abusive relationship. It never stops and it never gets better. If you're dating a guy and he's already showing control issues or being weird, it's time to cut the strings. And this woman loved him still very much. E even after he broke into her apartment, she still didn't want him to, to see him go to jail. And she told her mother hey you know i love him he just has problems you know he just makes mistakes well uh sadly uh she's no longer here get out anytime a guy's doing weird stuff like that it's time it's time to leave uh rest in peace uh, to miss shaiket Anthony Wade Dawson, uh, March 8, 1987 to October 9, 2012. Anthony was robbed in his apartment and uh, three people shot and killed him. He killed his girlfriend and then turned the gun on himself. Marco Levine Wilson, September 25th, 1987 to November 9, 2015. Marqua was shot and killed by her boyfriend. He was the father of one of her six children, and they had gotten into an argument over apparently something about money for diapers and wipes, and he shot her once in the head. And there was witnesses to the shooting. Uh, they seen her boyfriend run out of the apartment saying that, quote, I'm in trouble, and then he's trying, he started trying to lie, saying that they fought over the gun and it accidentally went off. Uh, he was sentenced to 12 to 30 years in prison for the murder. This here is Jaquay Lomax, February 24th. 1992 to April 27, 2011. Uh, according to eyewitness reports, he was in the street uh, arguing with somebody and they pulled out a gun and shot and killed him. You got to think to yourself if you're the killer and you're sitting in prison practically for the rest of your life. Was it truly worth it? Whatever you guys were fighting about, you took this young man away from his family. All for something that probably at the end of the day doesn't matter and you're gonna be sitting in prison 25 years from now, still in prison. Of course it ain't worth it.
This here is Audrey B. Roth, 1923 to 2016, and she's buried next to her husband, Bertram W. Roth. So you may not know Audrey Roth's name off the top of your head, but if you are a fan of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, she played the character Miss Polificate on the uh, children's television program that I grew up on and was my favorite TV show when I was about five or six years old. I loved Mr. Rogers. And uh, he's buried not too far from here, and I will uh, make it uh, a plan to go visit him. So, rest in peace to Miss P, Andre Roth.